Everybody, to Hilim. And here we are. We're in Mizmor, Kuf Lamed, 130. And we started yesterday. We're learning now for a fourth time of all of Klai Yisrael, for the entire world who need it so, so desperately. And we saw, that Sher Ma'alot to the Ascender, the one who brings us up so high, but Mimamakim from misery, from the depths of desperation. We are calling out to you, Kratiha. We're calling out to you. And today, we're going to learn the second Pasuk. Hashem Shema Bikoli, Tiena Aznecha Kashuvot Lekotach Onunai. Hashem, my Lord, hear my voice. May your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleas. So the Ibn Ezra over here tells us that although I'm so distant, I'm so far from you, Hashem, please, would you please hear my voice? Now, what's with the call? What's with the voice? So number one, we're yelling it out loud. So the Pritzedek says, don't think it's a problem, the Gemara in Shabbat, that, the Gemara in Berachot, rather, that tells us that a person who yells out during his tefillahs, mikatne amunaz, from people who have very small faith or belief in God because they think they have to yell as if God couldn't hear them. No, 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 no. That's only for a person who's like in a regular frame of mind. But over here, we're in such a desperate place. We can't help but yell out. Just, ah, just, just, Shemal Kol Tachanunai. Listen to the voice. So what are we saying here now with listening to this voice? So the Ibn Yechia tells us that when persecution, when galut, when misery is so harsh, I can't even compose a coherent prayer. So at least at least hear the voice that's coming. I, I, I can't even put together words. So I'd like to share with you this thought. There are three levels of prayer. Yitzhak Kirzner writes in his book, The Art of Jewish Prayer, there are three levels of prayer. There's the lowest level, when we speak to Hashem, where we articulate what we need, what we think we need. And then we get in such a desperate place that, look, I don't know how to even get out of this, Hashem. Things, things are so terrible, but I know I can't last here anymore, so please get, get me out of this. And then he says there's the final level, that of coal. That of just our voice, where we don't even use words. Our pain is so massive, we just yell out to Hashem. And he uses as an example, Lahavdil, he uses the example that we should never know of, but he uses the example of the people in Europe in the Holocaust. Initially, they had spoken to Hashem at the beginning when the war broke out, please don't let me lose my business, please let everything be okay. They thought that they can talk out what they thought that they knew. And then when they got sent into the ghettos, when they got to Warsaw Ghetto, so they just knew, I can't be here anymore. I mean, I didn't even know how to get out of here. I mean, all of humanity is starting to twist on me. I don't know what's happening, but please, Hashem, just, just save me. And then they ended up in the concentration camps where all of humanity just melted, where nothing made sense anymore. And at that point, they couldn't, they didn't have words. Their brains couldn't sit take in the information that their eyes were sending them. So they just yelled out in bitter pain. They just yelled out, I just can't. That is call. That is voice. But Farshim tells us that the gematria of call, of voice, is the same as sulam, as ladder. And that's the ladder of Yaakov that goes up to the highest place because, you see, words... Words are our mouth. Words are our goof going and articulating what it needs. But when physicality itself can't even fathom what's happening around it, it's in such a desperate place. And so our nishama just yells from our depths. And it says, ah, like the physicality can't even take this anymore. Can't even understand anymore. Can't even articulate anymore. But now the voice of the soul yells out to you and says, please, my creator, please hear Aznecha, your ears, Hashem, it should hear. Please, Hashem. Please, that your ears should hear the voice of my supplication, of my desperation. We're in that place now. Our words, we don't have them anymore. Our coal, that is our power. Yell it out as loud as we can. Up to Shemayim. And beg Hashem for this to end.